Steam from bathrooms and kitchens is one of the greatest causes for false alarms in hotels and high occupancy residences. But now Nitan Europe has developed a clever dual optical smoke detector that can tell the difference between smoke and steam, as Robin Ross explains. There are around 3,600 students staying in accommodation at East Anglia University, but their studies were continually being interrupted by false fire alarms, mainly triggered by steam from showers. Security were being called out every day and probably about 20 times a week. They're spending so much time going around to false alarms in the accommodation blocks that it was using up a lot of their resources. Greg won the project to move the old detectors further away from the bathroom door. But then he suggested another solution, installing new dual optical smoke detectors that are steam tolerant, manufactured by Nitton, a leading company in international fire protection. Since the switch to Nitton's dual optical detector, the result has been remarkable. We monitored it for 12 months and during that period now we've had zero false alarms. Nitan's dual optical alarm doesn't just use standard infrared light, it also uses blue LEDs operating on different wavelengths. It can tell the difference between smoke and non-combustion products such as steam and dust. So now it's time to have some fun and there's nothing like an experiment. And we've got one here. Lee, are you going to show us how it works? OK, we have a standard smoke detector here and our dual optical detector here. We're going to put some steam in here and see which one of them activates first. Well, steam is definitely coming in now. You can hear the alarm operating now. That's the standard detector that's being affected by the steam, but the dual optical hasn't been affected. And now we'll introduce some test smoke and the dual optical will activate. And now the dual optical has operated. You can see the flashing light and the beacon operating. There it goes, into alarm. It was an easy installation as we didn't have to rewire the building. We used existing cabling with the devices in the existing place, which saved loads of time and loads of cost in rewiring. But the smoke detector's main job is to save lives. False alarms can prevent firefighters from attending real fires. The dual optical is able to respond to a real emergency. As you can see, we've got a room full of steam. We've had the shower running for a little while. The device hasn't activated, but we need to make sure it does work in a, in a real fire event. So I'll just test it by putting some smoke in. Within seconds, the dual optical alarm goes off. It's estimated that false alarms cost the UK in excess of £1 billion each year. It's a problem for residences and hotels where the bathroom or kitchen is near to the bedroom. If it's a hotel type application uh, in the same way as the accommodation blocks here within the university, if you have a false alarm because of steam, it may be in the middle of the night someone's taking a shower, you don't want all of the guests to go down to the car park in their pyjamas, obviously they might not come back to your hotel. More than 2,500 Nitan detectors have now been fitted throughout the university's 24 accommodation buildings. The university are really happy and uh, now all accommodation blocks are specified to be Nitan and, and we'd recommend Nitan on any new installation.